Hello oh, everybody, Trainer Green here, and I'm going to be going over the, the Trainer Lock, because eventually I want to do a Nuzlocke, and I don't want it to be normal, so I want to make something specifically for me, even though you can do it still, I don't mind. And I also want to be making more in the future, I may not attempt all of them, but I'm more making more. This is the one I'll mainly be attempting. So let's go over the rules now. You can heal at, uh, you can get you can get 5 total heals at a Pokemon Center. So, you know, if you want to heal ever, you the entire game, you gotta save them, because if you use them up, you're gonna be out and you're gonna be sad. Number two, you can heal at any bed or your mom's for free once. So, let's say we're playing Gen 1, like Fire and Liquid, you can heal at a bed, you can heal at your mother's. But once you hit on healing, you're done, you can't use them again. That's basically it. Number three, you have to use whatever Pokemon you catch when you catch them. So basically, what that means is, Let's, so I'm cat. I have to use them in order. So once I can stop tapping, it, but I have to use them in order. So let's, once I get my six Pokemon, that's it. I can't switch out anymore. I have to wait for one to die, and then I'll go on to my seventh Pokemon I caught. So let's say I have a Trico, and it dies. Well, I like it's stuck there until it's dead, of course. But once it dies, I have to replace it with the Zigzagoon. That's number seven. I can't get a number eight. That's like my Gardevoir or whatever. I have to wait and use my number si seven Pokemon, and then keep going through. So that's basically how that goes. And for the final rule, because I, I I'm known as the one of the luckiest I'm known as one of the luckiest people in my friends group, I guess I'd say. They they like get pissed off and stuff like that when it comes to luck based sometimes towards me. So I decided to test that. And I will be rolling a dice after every gym. And what that dice will do are these six was I'm gonna read to you. Number one, allow you to catch a second Pokemon on that next route. Number two adds a heal to your centers, so I can have six total heals finally. Number three, lose a Pokemon type, lose a Pokemon type count only to primary types. So, and then I have to go randomly generate it. So basically what that means is that I will randomly generate a type, and then I'll be gone. So let's say I lose, I don't know, uh, grass, uh, let's say, yeah, grass, then I can't use primary grass size, but if I have a secondary Pokemon that has grass, I can still use it. Just primary can't be grass. Yeah. Number four, lose a mon, roll to the dice. So if I have six Pokemon, I will roll, and whatever the six, whatever I rolled, that means that number. So let's say my number four slot is a Bulbasaur. Bye-bye, Bulbasaur, because I rolled number four. So that's basically how that's going to go. It's just number one through six so you don't, between your layout. Number five, free switching for the P Pokemon in the PC, and if I don't have one, I can re-roll, because that would be kind of boring if I couldn't do it at the end of the game. So basically, what that means is that let's say I have a uh, Charizard, but I don't want the Zigzagoon in my party. But Charizard, I have to wait till three Pokemon die to get it. I can switch it out whenever, and then I can automatically get a Charizard, and then it'll replace that Zigzagoon into that number three slot. And for the final one, choose a route and catch a free mon, because there might be something greater, like better later on. So if you're wondering why exactly do do you have four good ones and two bad ones. Well, because I guess I'd want to say I don't want to make it too difficult or too likely to have something bad, but at the same time, I did it where it's uh, one-third of the dice is bad while two-thirds are pretty decent. And I thought that would be pretty cool. And plus, I also made three and four of the bad ones because they're the middle dice and most people are going to be rolling in the middle. So, you know, I didn't have I do have some sense into this, so most likely I'll be rolling at three or four because they're in the middle. But if my luck serves me right, I'll be rolling like a 1, 2, 5, or a 6, so you know, we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to be attempting using these rules, and it's a basic type of nose like I'd say. I didn't want to get too complicated in this one, because it'd be kind of weird if I did. But yeah, if you want to attempt it, try it yourself. Maybe one day I'll see it, it's pretty cool. And I'm going to attempt it sometime, I don't know when, but sometime, I'll be recording it. And I think that's really it. I guess I'll see you when I record it. I don't know what game yet. Don't know what at all anything. But I will be doing it. And you'll be great. I will see you all in the next video. Trainer Green and I'm out. Bye guys.